Hey, Mr. Stewart here. We're doing graphing in standard form. I'm going to show you uh, how to convert from standard form into vertex form and then how to use a shortcut method in order to graph. If you have any questions at all throughout this, please feel free to email me uh, or uh, watch this video or watch one of the other videos that we have on the file. So converting from standard form to vertex form uh, Remember, standard form is y is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c. And vertex form is y is equal to a times x minus h squared plus k. So in order to do this, you need to use complete the square. So first off, what we're going to do is isolate our x squared and our 4x. And put a blank. And then our minus 9, and then minus 9. So what we add to 1, or what we add, we also have to subtract through. Now in this blank, if you remember from the other times of this, this is b over 2 squared. So b is 4, so 4 over 2 squared. 2 squared, which is 4. So 4 goes here, and 4 goes here. Um, then our next thing is what's going to multiply to give us 4, add to give us 4, that's 2 and 2, or essentially just our b over 2 value. And negative 9 minus 4 is 13, and we're done. So now we can find our vertex, <coughs> excuse me, our vertex, and then all of our other points. Now, the difference between example 1 and example 2, notice that there's a 4 here on front. There's a number out front. We want to factor it out first. So I'm going to factor it out of the first two terms. x squared minus uh, 5x. I put my blank. Plus 3. Minus. And in this case, I'm going to put 4 and times whatever number that I have. If I'm adding a number here, that is within this parentheses, and I'm multiplying it by 4. I've also got to multiply by 4, whatever number I subtract it. So again, this is b over 2 squared, 25 over 4, so now my b over 2 value goes in here. So the 4, and then this will be x minus 5 over 2 squared, plus 3. Now 4, 4 of those cancels out, so I'm left with 25. Now f of x is equal to 4 times x minus 5 over 2 squared minus 22. And now we have my vertex of 5 halves comma negative 22. All right, so, so say you don't want to do that, there actually is a shortcut. I'm just going to jump right to that shortcut here. Uh, it is just to find your vertex. So negative b over 2a, and f of negative b over 2a. It looks a little bit complicated, but really what it's saying is take your a value, so like here it's negative 1, your b value, uh, and you use the negative b over 2a, and 4 over 2 times negative 1, which gives you 2. And then you take that and plug it into the equation. So now we have negative 2 squared plus 4 times 2 plus 5, which ends up being negative 4 plus 8 plus 5, which is 9. So now I have my vertex of 2, 9. I can do that instead of uh, completing a square if I want to. I did completing the square, just got to show you off to the side, I'll take out the negative. my blank okay, and then subtract my blank. So be 4. Um, this would be y is equal to negative and then x minus 2 squared and oh I have to multiply this by negative 1 because I pulled out that negative so then that becomes 9 which gives me my vertex of 2, 9. 
Now here with x-intercepts in standard form, it's a little bit different. Uh, you can do a couple different things. My suggestion is if you don't know what you're doing, use quadratic formula. So the negative b, so negative 4 plus or minus the square root of b squared. So 16, 4 squared is 16, minus 4 times negative 1 times 5 all over 2a, so 2 times negative 1. So negative 4 plus or minus the square root of 16 plus 20, so 36 all over negative 2. Negative 4 plus or minus uh, 6 over 2 which then gives us negative 2, which then gives us uh, negative 10 over negative 2, which is 5, or 2 over negative 2, which is negative 1. So either one of those would work. Uh, you get 5, negative 1, 2, 9. Hopefully my axis is symmetry. Is here, negative 1 comma 0. 5 comma 0. You can also try and factor if you want to. That was actually factorable um, if you pull out the negative. But again, using the quadratic formula when you're in this form will help. All right, last thing I'm going to do, plug in the y-intercept. Y-intercept is always your c-value because everything else goes to 0. Just showing you the work. What I do for here, oh, I graphed my, I apologize. The point should be up here. It should be facing down. So five here, and then I'm one, two away, so one, two away here, for my other point. Mm -hmm. uh, that one is just the opposite of that one. So, and then here's my graph. Don't forget your axis of symmetry is always the same as your vertex x value. x is equal to 2. That's an imaginary dashed line that I put there. And that's pretty much it. So either way, you can use the shortcut or you can use completing a square. Completing a square helps uh, to shorten some of the problems, I think, I feel like. That's also used a lot um, in later classes, too, so it might help to learn that. Again, if you do have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me. Thanks.